and welcome to Play With Me Toys for Kids. Today we're going to be trying out this jelly slush maker, jelly fun together. This is from John Adams and it's recommended for ages five and up. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some jello and then we can try it out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side for now, but as you can see, we're going to be squishing up jello and making it into this really fun jello slushy drink. So first up I have 500 milliliters of hot water and then I'm going to mix my first packet of jello in with a whisk. I also have another 500 milliliters of water and another packet of jello in a different color and flavor. Time to mix! So now I'm going to let these cool and then I'm going to let them sit in for two hours in the refrigerator so they can get nice and wiggly and solid. You guys don't have to wait two hours though. We'll be back in a minute. So here we are again. We have our jelly slush maker already. As you can see, the jello has already been refrigerated and is all wiggly and solid. I also made some of these fun forms, as you can see, to decorate with. So I'm going to go ahead and start by filling up our machine. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the cherry jello. And this is red, as you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill up the other section with green jello. And there's also one more section if you wanted to make a different color of jello as well, such as blue, purple, etc. And now we're all ready to go ahead and squish down our jello. So I'm going to start by squishing the green jello. We have to open up this valve here at the bottom. As you can see, the arrows now line up and it's open. So now we're just going to squeeze this down. As you can see, there's only a little bit so far. But I just want to show you guys the process. So here, as you can see, it's squeezing the jello out to make it into slushy jello. This is our green jello, and it's in lots of little pieces. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some cherry jello on top, change the color up a little bit, and make it more interesting. And we need to open it up and then squeeze down. Finally, I'm going to add a little bit more green on top to top it off. looks pretty interesting. This is kind of a Christmassy colored drink. And I'm going to add just a little touch of water so that I can drink this with a straw. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. As you can see, the jello is in very small pieces. It looks really pretty and very interesting. And let's see how it tastes. So I've added some water and I have my straw here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and try it out. So the jello does go through the straw. It's a very interesting flavor, very sweet. I think I personally prefer jello just as jello, but it's pretty fun that you can drink it through a straw as well. I'm going to finish my video by making a couple other drinks to give to my friends to try, and then they're going to come and try them on the channel as well. So I'm going to try it one more time. I kind of like it, but like I said, I think I like normal jello better. But it was a lot of fun to make. So now it's time to make one for my friends, and then I'll invite them over and they can try it out. So let's go ahead and get started. I still have some leftover green and yellow jello. Sorry, green and red jello. And I'm going to use that to make some drinks for my friends as well. I 
I also have these fun molds to decorate with. As you can see, there's a pair of lips, a strawberry, etc. in fun different colors. And I think this is probably my favorite part of the kit. You could use this to decorate normal jello as well. So here I have some cups for my friends, and I'm going to start with some cherry jello. And some green jello as well. And I have two more drinks made up for my friends. One is just cherry and the other one is mixed. And I have them here in the studio to try them out. So I have my drink here and then two more drinks for my friends, a little bit smaller portions. And they're just gonna go ahead and try them out. So we'll see how they like them. And I'll go ahead and let you know what they think about it. All right, here goes. Cheers, you guys. So my friends say it's also very interesting. Um, one of my friends thinks it's kind of a strange texture, and I would have to agree with that. I think that we all agree that normal Jello tastes a little bit better, but it was still a lot of fun to make and could be really fun at a party or during the summer. But we both like normal slushies better or normal jello better. Maybe not jelly, jello slushies. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this demonstration. It was a lot of fun to make. I just created jello, put it into the machine, added a little bit of water to make it a drink. And it's kind of fun that you can drink it through a straw. It's a pretty cool machine. Perhaps you could use it for something else like frosting as well for a cake or a cupcake. I guess you could get creative and ask your parents about it. Very interesting idea. In the comments, go ahead and let me know if you've ever tried something like this before. I've never tried this out before. I like how it looks. Um, I don't like the texture so much. It's kind of weird to drink it but it was a lot of fun to make. So again, in the comments, go ahead and write if you've ever tried this out and if you like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below right now. I also wanna show you these molds really fast. I think this is my favorite part of the set. These turned out really, really well. And you could use this to decorate your own Jello cups or your Jello slushy cups. So go subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time, and remember to write in the comments. Have a great day. Bye.